Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another lip swatch video. I love filming these and I also love that lately the more popular lips have been glosses, vinyls, demi mattes, things that don't wreck my lips. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try these. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. So I have eight shades of these. So I have every shade that Ulta carries. They go for $9.99. I believe when I picked these up they were buy one get one half off. So you can find them at better deals. So definitely check around if you're interested. And I do have all eight shades to try on for you. So I'm so excited. Right before we get started, I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. If you do enjoy, please leave me a thumbs up. You can subscribe. You can turn on notifications and leave me some comments. Any of that is greatly appreciated. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off. I have a little bit of just a lip balm on. So I'm going to wipe that off. Even though these are vinyl and aren't super matte, it still can be a lot on the lips to put it on, take it off multiple times. So I just wanted to hydrate well. I'm going to just pick at random. This is the shade Rule the World, which is like a beautiful hot pink. All right, there's Rule the World. I did dip in a second time just to give a more opaque layer. I felt like the first pass, while it was really pigmented, wasn't 100% opaque, so I just wanted to layer it up a little bit. This one's really pretty. This feels ultra comfortable on the lips. They feel like they would be sticky and tacky, but when you press your lips together, it, like it doesn't string, it doesn't grab, which is really impressive. And I love that I can like move my lips around and it's not like totally disturbing everything. Like I can still rub my lips together, press them together. I'm not having any issues. So a little bit more about these. It says they're high pigment, high shine lacquer in a non feathering formula. It says for extreme vinyl like shine, full coverage in one swipe, the reservoir tip applicator for a precise, easy mess free application. It says they're infused with vitamin E and they have a creamy mango and vanilla whipped fragrance. Okay. I was wondering what that fragrance was because it smells like slightly fruity, slightly sweet, but it's very, very mild. So if you don't like fragrant lips, I think you'll still be okay. It's very light. I actually really like the scent. It's it's definitely like vanilla mango, but it's just very, very slight. So there's our first color. Next, we're gonna go into Birthday Suit, which is a beautiful, it looks like a light pinky mauve. I love this color. These are definitely my favorite lip colors. I love just a hint of mauve. That way it's something a little bit different than pink, but this is kind of like my lips, but better type of color on me personally. On others, it probably will look a little bit more pink um, as with different skin tones, but I really like this color. So again, this is a birthday suit. They are ultra shiny like a gloss, but again, not super sticky. I love that. So I feel like so far they're really living up to that like vinyl shine because they are very shiny and reflective. I hope it's showing you guys as well as I can see in person, but whew, she's pretty. This is definitely a beautiful color. I made the mistake of overlining with it on the very first one. So I feel like that's gonna kind of throw everything off. So sorry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the lighter shades. This one is called Act Natural. It looks like it's gonna be a peachy pinky nude. Let's see. I do like the... Wow, it did like this weird bubbling thing that like it kind of came out to a point where like the actual product like was stretched as it was being pulled out and it was like popping air out of it. It was weird, but it's just like the air leaving the product, I guess. Super strange. All right, so there is Act Natural, definitely kind of what I expected, more like a soft peachy pink. It's really, really pretty. So I hope you guys can see the applicator there has a little bit of a like insert into it where it can hold the product called the Reservoir. So that does a pretty good job of like retaining some product in there. Um, you can try to flip the wand around, but the backside doesn't really hold any product. That one, I just did one application. I didn't dip back in and it's pretty opaque. I would probably like to add just a tiny 
bit but you don't want to overdo it and get it too thick and heavy but as you can see it looks beautiful just with one little wand application and I love that I can press my lips together and it's not like pulling apart the product it's not like stringing um, it's not sticking together that's it's really good it's just really impressive because a lot of these that have like a more high shine finish and they're really pigmented typically can do that a lot but this one's looking beautiful so again act natural all right I'm gonna go for a brighter one this one is called power up it looks so pretty it's kind of like more coral let's just see what it looks like on the lips so this applicator is kind of like a little hairy if that makes sense um god i'm not I'm not getting into that. Um, what I mean is that the little fibers of the actual doe foot, there's a few that are like sticking out longer than the rest, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it does this weird bubbling thing. And I wish you guys could see, but it's so minute that it's hard to pick up. So again, I did not dip in a second time. I just went with the product I had on the actual doe foot and in the reservoir, and it really did nicely. This is beautiful. It's pulling just a little bit pinker on top of my lips, but obviously that's gonna happen a little bit. It is almost 100% opaque. There is just a few little sections where it's just slightly less opaque than the others, but it's so close to being you know full on color that I cannot complain at all and I know that this is very early in the application but it doesn't seem to be feathering or moving and I did not conceal my lips again or anything like that um it seems to kind of want to stay in place I'm I'm loving these so far so again that is power up all right we're getting into some darker shades so I'm gonna pick this one again another one that looks a little bit like a brown mauvey and this one is called date night That is beautiful. All right, so that one's just a little bit darker. I feel like this would be beautiful for so many skin tones. I feel like this one's very flattering and I really like it with my eye look as well. A little matchy, but still really pretty. So again, this is date night and I really, really like this shade. All right, my lips are starting to feel it. So let's dive into this. It looks like our most true red shade. And this one is called Cherry on Top. All right, so this is a gorgeous, like, blue base red. It pulls just a hint, like, pink red, but so, so pretty. I would love to do this lip with just, like, a wing liner, something really simple, and just let that be, like, that statement. I get, like, sexy pinup vibes from this color. Beautiful red. All right, we got two shades left. This one is called So Shady. this one is really pretty it's definitely a little vampy wintry berry kind of color but it's actually gorgeous and I can see in the winter time when my lips are a little drier but I want like intense color I feel like this would be a perfect combination because it's hydrating it's got that shine but it will not dry out your lips so I actually really like this even though it's really dark and different for me I like this color a lot so again that is so shady all right, we're down to the last shade. This one is called Berry Blist, and it is a beautiful, brighter berry color. Hopefully, it's going to go well with this eye color because I want to leave it on. All right, so there is Berry Bliss, and it comes off more of like a fuchsia, which is gorgeous, perfect for summer. And I don't know that I love it with this eye look, so I might change it out to one of my favorites, but it is a really beautiful color. All in all, I have nothing but good things to say. These are pigmented. They are ultra shiny vinyl finish. I think that's the perfect description. They aren't too tacky or sticky or heavy on the lips. They don't feel like you're wearing like a big thick layer of lipstick just to get that shine and color. 
so I'm really impressed. So Revlon kind of did it with these Ultra HD vinyl lip polishes. I'm really excited that I got all of these and very happy that they turned out so well considering that I now have eight shades of them. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this lip swatch video. Let me know below what you think and if you have any other lip product assortments that you would like for me to try if there's something new um, especially from drugstore brands I love doing those because I love to delve into their products a little bit more and I feel like the drugstore kills it when it comes to lip products there's so many good options so thank you guys so so much I hope you enjoyed please leave me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and also be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know of my future uploads and we only have one more thing to take care of dad jokes did you hear about the cartoonist found dead at his home details are sketchy <laughs> all right guys thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye